Hey, what's up? <laughs> Welcome back to another news video. Now inside today's news video, we're gonna get into all the juicy stuff that I have planned for today because it's basically just everything that happened inside of Rec Room from the last three days. But of course, in standard school fashion, you know before we get started in today's video, you better like the video. Don't check your fridge. That's all I'm saying. Don't check your fridge. Anyways, besides that, if you guys haven't already, be sure to check me out in game and use my code. It helps me out a lot and you guys basically give me money for free. Appreciate it lots, and I'm gifting people that I see in game that are using my code. Now let's get into all the record news, but I do want to say there are a bunch of things that I think you guys are going to find interesting. To get us started, we have a new featured creator, which is Technological. This guy was a featured creator not too long ago, I remember it, and he says, I like all things 3D art, and he's shouting out Ink Overflow. It is Tuesday, so I think featured rooms might have changed. I'm not too sure, but I think they did change. Talking about it being Tuesday, we didn't receive a record update Monday, and we usually do, so... It's also just been confirmed that there's no update this week. My bad. Don't know if it's just me, but have they always sold Candyland cake pops and fish donuts right here? We'd also received a Rec Room survey, and it says the survey will take about 3 to 5 minutes to complete, and it is available until Sunday, July 21st. If you guys complete it, you'll get their exclusive orange survey bubbly. Remember, if you're inside a research lab, complete your surveys if you guys want to get your research lab rewards. Now, I have some pretty big news. It seems like Rec Room is going to be hosting a building contest pretty soon, and here's why. Hot Seb, a Rec Room developer, had this little thread inside the Creator Hub Discord server saying, please answer within the thread. If we were to host a new build contest, what are some themes? So it seems like they're reaching out to the community for themes for the new building contest. And of course, if you guys are interested in joining the Creator Hub Discord server, I will have that link down inside the description below. So what do you guys think? What's a good building contest theme for right now? And honestly, super hype, I can't wait. So Rec Room players have figured out that they have a new split test where they basically have a filter that filters out the number of players inside a game. You can either have games that have more or less than four players with this split test and honestly kind of a weird split test. I think it'd be better with more filter options but what are your guys' thoughts? In other news we had also received part two of our actual AMA. Now I forgot to mention this in all my videos for some reason but basically we were going to have two parts of this actual AMA that came out. It came out a few days ago and they talk about AMA feedback and here's that clip. Also I uh, just want to talk about some of the feedback that came to us from the first video from the AMA part one video. A few people called out and said hey Gribbly, you were talking about item prices, but um, you talked about item spend going up 25%, not item prices going up 25%. That's fair feedback. That's true. The data I, I shared was actually about spend, not about item prices. And I know what people are asking about really is, hey, you know, the item prices seem really high. Are we going to get, you know, more reasonably priced items? So here's what I want to say about that. So we're very actively working on uh, creating a much broader uh, spectrum of options uh, in terms of both pricing and the types of items you can get, the style that you can get. So basically, here's what I want to do. I want to, like I said in the previous video, I want to show, not tell. So please, uh, let's keep talking about this. Let's check in in a couple of months, and I hope that you'll agree with me um, that we're that there's a lot more options available, including many more reasonably priced options. We are not planning to reduce the price of the most expensive items, um, but we are planning to provide a much much broader spectrum. So there's something for everyone. You know. You won't always have to pay those really high prices to get something cool. So keep an eye on that. Let's talk about it again in a month or two. But just the message is we are working on it. We do hear you. And this is something that we really do care about. All right, that's one thing. Second thing is, you know, I saw the top comment, at least for me. I don't know how the YouTube comment algorithm works uh, in detail. But the top comment when I go to uh, look at the AMA that we posted was from Tarapeutic, one of our uh, rec tubers. Uh, Hi, Tarapeutic. We love you. And, you know, she had some, some feedback where, you know, she felt like uh, a lot of what I was saying was throwing cold water on the community. And uh, I apologize for that. That's not, that's not uh, how I want to be perceived. Um, and so just something I wanted to throw out is I would love it. I would love to find a way to sit down with, with you, Tyrapeutic, and, and have a kind of more face-to-face -face, uh, conversation in Rec Room somehow. So I've asked our team to kind of talk about that, figure out what the right way to do that is. But just kind of wanted to throw that out there as, a, uh, I think, a good next step to kind of talk through some of this stuff. So if you're interested, let me know. Let us know. Um, and we'll get it set up. We'll have a little, uh, we'll little sit-down chat. Okay, that's that. Uh, that's all the housekeeping, I think. They also talk about new Reckham Originals without Reckham Studio. Question number one from Diddleyono. Uh, will we be getting any new ROs which don't use Studio? 
any new rooms that use Studio don't add anything to the base game, which neglects creators that exclusively use Maker Pen, which is a big portion of the player base, as not everyone has access to or wants to use Studio. A big incentive for creation and a selling point was that you could you could create in game on any platform. The move to Studio has actively hurt this idea. Great feedback. Uh, I think there's two parts to it, right? So I'm gonna I'll, I'll treat each part separately. So part one is. Will there be any new ROs that don't use Studio? And I'm going to say no. Uh, we plan to use Studio and the Maker Pen um, in combination to create all future ROs. Uh, My Little Monster uh, was created with both Studio and extensive, extensive use of the Maker Pen. Man, you talk to the My Little Monsters team, they will tell you they spent many, many, many hours uh, in the game with the Maker Pen, tweaking, tuning, uh, debugging. So no, we're not planning to, to walk away from Studio for, for ROs. Rec Center updates and dorm room updates. We're, we're excited to bring those back. Okay, next question. Uh, do you guys ever plan on changing the Rec Center? It's been the same for quite some time and I think it'd be cool for a change. Same with the dorm room. Yeah, I agree. I really want to. Um, man, if I had a magic wand and we just had infinite time and people to work on things, Rec Center would definitely be getting an upgrade. It's definitely going to happen at some point. I can't even claim it's going to be soon, but it's definitely going to happen. Here's what we really want to do is we want to convert the Rec Center to a Rooms 2.0 room. So when Rooms 2.0 is really truly ready for that, when it's really offering way better performance, way better stability, um, really delivering on those promises, I think that'll be the time to bring our uh, the rec center over onto it so that we can build on that upgraded foundation. When we do that, when we do that upgrade to rooms two, we would definitely take that opportunity to redesign and upgrade the space. We have some really cool ideas for how we want to update the space. I'm also really interested to hear ideas that people have. So if you want to put that on the Reddit or in the Discord, um, be really curious to know what ideas people have or, you know, in the YouTube comments, be really interested to know, hey man, if, if you just had a magic wand and you could, could transform the rec center however you like, uh, what would that look like? What would you do? Be really curious to see to see those ideas. Um, just to give you kind of to get the gears turning. The way we think of the rec center is it's the default public space of rec of rec room. Ultimately, we want it to be the town square of rec room or the Times square of rec room, where you can go, you can find all kinds of cool things to do. It's a gateway to other opportunities. There's it's bustling. There's people. That's what we want it to be long term. On the dorm room, we currently have some experiments running on the dorm room. Um, we've done some work to make it way more customizable. So if you've customized your dorm in the past, uh, you'll know that you can place objects, you can download dorm skins, you can place inventions, you can do a bunch of stuff. It's pretty cool. Uh, but you haven't been able to do things like change the skybox, change the lighting, um, and so or delete some things like you can't delete the bed or delete the mirror or you know all that kind of thing so we in the experiment which is not rolled out to everybody we're kind of just rolling it out seeing how it goes see if it causes any problems um we have a way more customizable dorm you can delete everything including the mirror uh, including the bed like literally everything strip it down to just the bare walls uh, recolor also works on everything so you can pull out the maker pen and you can recolor everything so you can have bright green walls bright red floor whatever you want you can change the outdoor skybox you can change the ambient audio it's a much more flexible and customizable space so i think it's really cool we'll see how that experiment goes but yeah so we're, we're definitely poking at making and that's pretty much all i'm going to tease about this new ama inside this video if you guys want to check out the ama feel free to go watch it now, I will admit, honestly, from what I've seen from the community, it honestly seems like the community wasn't too content with this recent AMA. We still learned a few things and stuff like that, and that's cool, you know, we love to do that, but it wasn't as groundbreaking as some of our other AMAs were, I guess. I've heard the term nothing burger, if you will, but I'll let you guys be the judge of it. Now, another thing that I had forgot to mention was this policy change that Recommend actually did for the Destiny 2 collab. Basically, when Destiny 2 had came out, Requiem had this to say. For those curious about the new Guardian Hunter headpiece covering the Avatar's face, we're changing our policy to allow items that cover the face for any item that isn't a first-party Requiem item. This will include third-party activations like Destiny 2 and other partnerships, as well as UGC, as well as UGC moving forward. Now, first party means that if it wasn't created by Requiem, it basically means that when Requiem comes to make cosmetics and stuff like that by themselves, they basically won't include masks that cover your avatar's face and stuff. But third party content and UGC content are able to make masks that cover the face and stuff like that, which is super cool. Now, I've seen several instances of players using full body avatars and spinning really fast to the point that their body distorts. Apparently, it's a new bug. 
Now in other news, Rakum had a new sale for their Barbie collab. They're announcing Barbie styles 20% off, and they say be who you want to be with all of our Barbie and Ken styles now 20% off for a limited time. Get them before they're gone. Of course, be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts about this sale and if they should do it for more collabs. You're gonna want to join my channel membership right after I'm done with you. Inside my channel membership, it works just like a Patreon, and basically, you get a bunch of perks for giving me some money once a month. These perks range from me treating you like my pookie or something less serious, like getting shouted out in all my videos or sneak peeks to videos and stuff like that, and talking about all my perks and stuff like that, I actually have people to shout out. Now, I just want to say, quite a few people have just rejoined the actual channel membership, and I just want to say I greatly do appreciate it. It means it a lot to me, and there's those people that you guys can see. Some of them are squidlings as well. As a shout out to all my pookies, which include Nat the Pup, Espos Maniac, Carl the Skunk, Hockey Boy, Turkey, Jack Tutorial, Ghastly, Garlic Bread, It's Freddy RR, Dozer Blade, Cat, BBB, Burning Owl, Bucky Guy, Yotes, Jakey, Raphael, Cloud, Netflix 69, and Box David. Now, Rec Room literally, just as I'm recording this, had a new announcement about Bug Crowd. If you're confused about Bug Crowd, it's basically where players can go into game and try to break Rec Room so that they can report bugs to Rec Room for them to fix. They have this announcement saying, Bug Crowd has given the opportunity for players to have a hand on flagging security issues and vulnerabilities to minimize the potential for hackers to affect the way we play Rec Room. We want to introduce new items that can be acquired by doing something you already do, and that's by playing Rec Room and reporting on these issues. We will be introducing a point tier system that will allow players to unlock items that you can't get anywhere else. For starters, every valid submission will get you a hack -a cola which is crazy! These are new items, I guess! And through Aggregate, you can unlock a jacket and hat based on the priority level, which is P1 through P4 of your submission. These items are a great way to let the community know that you have their back in keeping Rec Room secure and a safe place to play for all. These items will be in addition to the money that you can already achieve through Bug Crowd, and if you have already submitted a report, we are looking through those right now. If you are eligible to still receive these new items, thank you for making Rec Room a better place. For more information, they have this link, and we will, of course, check that out. But they have this little, you know, image from the art team that is announced. I think it's sick that they're releasing an announcement for this and finally getting on Bug Crowd and stuff like that. Especially when it comes to rewarding the community with new items, too. I mean, who doesn't love new items? Now, this isn't my first time talking about Bug Crowd, as I've made an entire video about Bug Crowd and how you can earn money off of it. It's basically where players try to go break Rec Room for money and stuff like that. If you're able to find bugs or vulnerabilities with the game, you can earn rewards such as cash or these items in game. I of course will have the link that they talked about inside the announcement inside the description below. Eating a burger with no honey mustard. 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 Eating a now you think that's all the news that I have for today's video? No. You'd be wrong to think that. Anyways, if you guys haven't heard of Murder V3, which I'm sure you already have, it's basically a murder mystery community map inside of Rec Room. It also has updates and stuff like that, and to talk about it, just had a double XP weekend for their 5 year anniversary. But they have announced that they have this new gun skin if you guys are interested, which is 6,000 clues, and here's what it looks like in game. If you guys want constant updates faster than I can post about them, feel free to join their actual Discord server. I'll have the link and the actual game room down inside the description below. Should I do a stream where I get a bunch of viewers and just kind of play with them inside this game? Be sure to let me know. Now, believe it or not, I am a co-owner of a new game, and that game is called Cat Shooter, made by Hack Classy. Feel free to check it out. You guys can see it inside my profile and stuff like that, and you guys have been killing it with the support. It wasn't this popping before, and I really do appreciate it. Hack Classy is going to be on it with the updates and stuff like that, and we're going to have a bunch of content coming soon and of course feel free to check it out we have an update log we got some donations and we have our guns right here and we even have a club for you to check out as well but unfortunately that's gonna be it for this entire video greatly appreciate it if you guys decided to like the channel and of course subscribe to the video and if you guys want to check out more record news content you guys should see some videos popping up right there anyways that's pretty much it and uh